Hey guys, welcome back. This is the fourth part in the OBS tutorial. And in this section, I'm focusing all about your audio settings. And this is because audio is a big pain in the butt. There are so many issues and problems that you can run into. And when it comes to fine tuning audio, man, it's probably one of the most difficult things to do. Sometimes you're going to need a third party program uh, like Adobe Audition or even an audio mixer. But some of us don't have any, any sort of equipment like that or those types of programs. So just getting the basics down is very, very crucial. And I'm going to try to give you some examples and try to answer some questions that was being asked to me in regards to using VoIP programs and music, etc. in the background of your stream. But the first thing you're going to see, though, in this actual panel is the desktop audio device. And this is simply asking the question of, hey, where does your game audio come out of? Now, me, I'm an FPS player, and I prefer to hear everything in my game, uh, so I wear headphones. But I also have my TeamSpeak, and I also have my music coming through my headphones. So keep in mind that wherever any audio is coming out of, it's going to be recorded. All right, so for this instance here, the first option is going to be my Siberia V2s, and I want everything that comes from my headphones on my channel, on my stream, okay? If you don't want any music on your stream, you just want the gameplay, then you may want to set that option to wherever the game audio is coming out of and then select a different device for your music and for your um, your VoIP programs like TeamSpeak or Mumble or whatever you're using, okay? Microphone slash auxiliary audio device. This is pretty much saying, hey, what microphone do you want to use to record so I can hear it on your stream? Now, I have a studio microphone that I bought specifically for my channel. And I bought it because it sounds a lot better than the microphone on my headset. So, you may not have a studio microphone. You may be using the microphone on your actual headset. If that's the case, then you're going to want to match. You wanna, you're you going to match that, okay? Um, but if you want to use an external uh, microphone, if you have a webcam, you can use the mic on the webcam. I mean, that'll show up here under the drop-down menu. Or if you want to use a studio microphone, then select that as well. Anything that's plugged into your computer, it, it's automatically going to be recognized by OBS, okay? And you can just simply select that option. Below that, you're going to have a little option that says Force Microphone to Mono. Don't worry about that. Just don't even check that box. I don't use that. <laughs> and then below, Show Only Connected Devices. If you don't see your device on that list, you may want to just uncheck that, and it will probably show other devices that are there. You just can't see them. Then right below that, you have a Push to Talk Delay. If you don't, don't know what Push to Talk is, and I hope most of you do. Push to talk is simply pressing down a button, which triggers your microphone to open, and you can speak into it. And once you let go of the button, your microphone then closes. Um, this can be helpful if you have super sensitive microphones, or if you live somewhere where there's a lot of background noise, and you don't want all of that background noise actually going through the stream. That can kind of be really, really annoying. Um, but that option is there, and 200 milliseconds isn't that bad. Um, with these options here, you can either go 200 or minus 200. You really can't go any higher or lower than that, um, uh, with the exception of maybe a third, a third party audio program. Um, and then right below that you have desktop boost. So what is the desktop boost? Well, look right above it. The first option we messed with was the desktop audio device, which is our headphones, right? So... We have the gameplay, we have TeamSpeak, we have music, all going through my headphones, and they're all being transmitted to my stream. But when I watch my stream, it's not as loud, so it makes it a little difficult to hear, right? If I want the background audio to be louder on my channel, I can simply just adjust this value. Now, you have to play with this setting. Okay, because you're either going to make people's ears bleed or you're going to be sitting there whispering sweet nothings and they're like, what, what? I can't, I can't hear you. I can't hear anything. Some people focus more on music on their channel than the gameplay audio. And some people may focus more on like the VoIP programs like TeamSpeak. 
you have to play with it. You have to know what you want to do with your audio. Um, now keep in mind that when you adjust this value, you're taking any program, any audio, if it's coming from game, team speak, or music, all three of those for the, for example, are being boosted. Okay. You can still manually adjust those audio settings in your clients and your programs on your own. Okay. And then you can find that perfect balance, but just using this option is going to bump everything up at once. It's like grabbing, it's just grabbing a whole bunch of folders and be like, go over there. <laughs> so keep that in mind. And below that you have the microphone boost. So, okay. Say you're streaming and everything's really loud, but when you talk into the microphone, nobody can hear you because it's so overpowering. Well, you can either adjust the gain or the volume on your microphone by itself or through like maybe your playback settings. Um, or you can simply come into OBS and you can bump up the volume on this. So this kind of also helps you balance out your audio settings to mic settings. Um, like I said, you really, really, really have to fine tune this. Um, the best way to do that is normally either run a quick test stream or create a recording profile. And then just sit there, play a game, put some music on, start talking to the microphone and find that good balance. And then finally you have the mic sync offset. So I did say that fine tuning your audio settings is a pain in the butt. It's very hard. And I haven't ran into this problem streaming just from my PC alone. If you stream, if say for example, you're playing a video game, right? And you hear yourself talk before, you know, it actually happens in the game. There is some audio that's desynced, right? If they're not in sync to where they should be. Like if I say fire and I'm shooting my gun at the same time, those two, those two audio actions should be right, right there, right on top of each other. If it's not right, you may have to play with the setting. Now, again, what I mentioned before, above here with a push to talk delay, you can either go 200 or you can go minus 200, okay? It's so minuscule, it's not even a second difference, okay? Um, you're probably going to have to um, use a third-party program or an, an audio mixer to get this right. The only time I've ever had any audio desync is when I'm streaming with um, an Elgato. So if I'm streaming from my Xbox, which is connected to an Elgato to my computer, there is some minor audio desync, meaning that I speak two seconds before something happens. It's not terrible. And the gameplay audio is not off sync. It's perfect. It's just the microphone and the game audio are a little bit off. You're going to have to play with that. Um, this one value will not fix it for you. You just, it, they don't give you enough leeway. Um, you can't adjust it large enough to fix it. So like I said, you may have to use like, um, Adobe Audition, which I've heard is a great program and it really does help or a mixture of some type. So for the most part though, if you're just starting out, I mean, set your mic to two and your desktop to one. Okay. I mean, you can even set it to one and one and then play with it from there, whatever makes it easier. And then just make sure you hit apply.